Hello there, happy vernal equinox day or shunbun no hi, which uh, is a Japanese public holiday and which is the day when the length of the days and the length of the nights are roughly the same um, or at least like the closest to being the same throughout the year apart from the autumnal equinox. So like astronomically speaking, it's the first day of spring, which is nice. Um, and also it's time for me to explain where I've been, what I've been doing, because when I started this uh, YouTube thing, I intended to do it like once a week, to upload roughly speaking once a week. And you know, occasionally if I was, you know, like busy or whatever, it would be a bit longer. Very rarely it was more than once a week, but generally speaking, I've, I've kept to that. Um, but then at the beginning of this year, uh, I did one at the start of January and then it was a whole month until I uploaded my December vlog at the start of February. Um, and then I haven't posted anything since then. So it's, and we're now like, you know, like past the halfway point in March. So what's been going on? First of all, I was in the UK, which meant that I was filming a lot, um, but not editing so much because like filming, I could kind of in between filming and sometimes during filming, I could still be with my family and stuff, but editing is kind of a very solitary exercise. And I thought I'm only in the UK for a certain amount of time. I want to spend that time as much as possible with my family. So, um, so yeah, I didn't do much editing while I was in the UK. Since I got back home, I've been editing a bit, but I've got like tons of footage to get through. And also it's been kind of harder to settle back into like a, a routine here than I thought it would be. Um, and there's been a few other things as well. So uh, one of the big ones is we've had a few deaths in the family over the past few months, unfortunately, four deaths in the family in the past few months. And of course, that's something that people all around the world are dealing with. And actually, that kind of gives me a sort of sense of relief or maybe not relief, but um, I don't know, solidarity that like a lot of people are going through a similar thing and that it's something that collectively we're going through together. Um, uh, but still, it sucks. Most recently, my aunt Tila died. And she was actually one of the reasons I started this channel. I started this channel for a lot of different reasons. I wanted to get back into reading mostly. But one of the things I was thinking was my aunt, uh, who kind of, who lives alone and um, was going to be even more shut off during all the lockdown and isolation stuff, uh, would maybe, you know, like the option at least to maybe watch her nephew talk about books from time to time. She liked reading. I, she wasn't much of a like talker when it came to books. But, you know, just to see me and my life and what I'm doing and stuff like that. So, yeah, I thought this channel would be a, a nice kind of resource to have. So I'm not even sure how much of them she actually watched. I know she watched a few. But anyways, I guess like at the back of my mind when I was making these videos, although I was making them for everybody and I'm so grateful to all the people who watched them, there was always at the back of my mind this idea that there was a specific person who might be watching them. And now I know very much that that person is not watching them. So it's kind of weird to, to still be making the videos, you know what I mean? And I definitely want to keep making the videos, but it's been hard to sort of just sit down and film things knowing that someone who I thought was always a potential audience for the videos is now no longer there. So I don't know, like um, I'm definitely still going to keep making them and I want to keep making. I have loads of plans and I, and I really enjoy it, but I think I'm probably going to continue to take it a little slower for the meantime at least. I'm gonna keep on working at uploading things uh, like the stuff from the UK, the footage that I have and, I've, I'm, and I might film some more videos and stuff and then just upload them gradually when I'm sort of feeling it. But yeah, basically I might not be able to stick to that once a week schedule so much um, as I did in the past. Hopefully that will gradually change because there's so much that I wanna produce and get out there. It's warm so I'm taking this off because yeah, we're spring now. We're astronomically in spring. So yeah, one thing that is gonna be coming up soon um, is April, <laughs> obviously. And in April, I have some reading plans which I wanna share with you. I am going to be reading uh, only Greek myth retellings, which is something I've wanted to do for so long on this channel. And I, I said when I made this channel that I was into Greek myths and I haven't really like, you know, delivered on that promise, I feel. Like I haven't done so much Greek myth related stuff. And I decided why not just do a whole month of catching up on the Greek myth books that I have, um, including some that I brought over from the UK, which I'll show you now. Um, so definitely, definitely in April, I will be reading these three books and more, I guess, but I'm not sure, I haven't decided yet. I like not having a strict uh, TBR list, to be honest. So the first of them is this book, Ransom, which was actually a present from my Aunt Tila. And um, that's like kind of just a coincidence. Like I was planning to read it anyways. Um, as part of a Greek retelling month, but um, it's obviously got more poignancy now. 
Uh, this is the story of the end of the Iliad, so the War of Troy, specifically after Achilles kills Hector uh, on the battlefield and then like kind of, you know, drags his body around on the, at the back of the chariot and it's all horrible. And then he goes back and then Hector's father, Priam, comes and begs for the body back. And it's sort of like the emotional climax of uh, Homer's Iliad. And it's been sort of redone as this uh, novel. So I'm really interested to see what this will be like. Next up, I have the very popular Home Fire by Camilla Shamsi, which is a retelling of Antigone set uh, in modern times in the UK to do with um, politicians and Islamophobia. It's, I think, following a Muslim family. And I'll be really interested to see how it kind of connects the, the Greek myth of Antigone, which is about um, a princess trying to bury her brother's body against the wishes of the state. Um, who's represented by her uncle, and um, and modern day kind of like issues and contemporary stuff. So there's that one. And then finally, this one, um, which I also brought from the UK, The Cure at Troy. This is uh, Seamus Heaney, an Irish poet. I'm not sure how much of it is a translation and how much of it is like kind of a, a retelling or adaptation, but it's basically like a, a, a retelling of the play uh, Philoctetes. Yeah, Philoctetes by Sophocles. Um, which is obviously a retelling of the myth of Philoctetes. So the story here, as far as I know, and I might be a bit hazy on the details, is again the Trojan War, but like while the soldiers, the Greek soldiers were going to Troy, this one guy, Philoctetes, got bitten by a snake or something on an island and his foot like got infected and it was like really stinky. And everyone was like, this guy can't fight, his foot smells, <laughs> let's just get rid of him. So they dump him on an island somewhere. But then... Um, during the Trojan War, there's like this prophecy that says they won't be able to defeat uh, Troy unless they have the bow of Heracles. And lo and behold, the bow of Heracles is owned by his friend Philoctetes. So they have to go back to the island and get Philoctetes and convince him to come back with them to Troy, despite the fact that they abandoned him. That's the story as I've heard it. I could be wrong in a few details, but I'm not, um, I'm not sure how Philoctetes dealt with it. I'm not sure how Seamus Heaney dealt with it. So it's like a retelling of a retelling. So it should be quite interesting. And it's also really small and easy. And I'm sure I'll breeze right through that. So those are my three. I was thinking I would read them. I'm not sure yet if I'll do this with them all, but like at least for these three, it would be cool to read them in the chronological order of the myths. So that would mean first the Antigone myth. So I'll start with Home Fire, then moving on to the Trojan War, which is one generation later. So I'm pretty sure that the Achilles stuff happens first in the Trojan War, and then the Philoctophy stuff happens at the very end of the Trojan War when they have to go back to get the bow so they can overthrow Troy. So I'm going to read them in that order. Um, and then, yeah, maybe if I decide on some other Greek myths and they uh, also fit into the chronology, I'll throw them in there. But please give me your recommendations uh, for your favorite Greek myth retelling. Just throw it down there in the comments. Yeah, let me know uh, what I should add to this list um, for April. And thanks so much always for being a part of this channel. Thanks so much for watching and, you know, sending comments. I always love like responding to what people's thoughts are. I'm really looking forward to putting out more videos and um, I'm still like quite active on, on YouTube, like commenting on other people's videos. And I've gotten a lot of uh, solace and uh, like kind of just being able to relax a lot from watching other people's booktube videos. So I definitely want to keep, you know, giving back to the community and producing my own stuff as well. Um, but yeah, like maybe not once a week. Uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully I can, I can pick it up as time goes by. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being part of this channel. I'm super excited for April. Cannot wait to get into these Greek myths retellings. Um, and I'm seriously just so excited about getting into these books and then like discussing them and, and all that jazz. So uh, yeah, see you in the next one. Bye.